Hey everybody, I'm BJ Mine, aka the Terrible Australian of Supermarcy.com, and welcome to my video review of writer director Shane Black's latest film, the action comedy noir, mystery noir, The Nice Guys. So let's get right into it. I, I really like Shane Black as a writer. I think he he's, he's such a, a really creative, unique, and original voice in term in terms of of all the films that he has made, like written over the years, you know, from Lethal Weapon. Um, the Last Boy Scout, The Last Action Hero, The Long Kiss Goodnight. But it's really his work as a director as well that I've been really impressed by, particularly Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, which is great. And that's a film I need to go and revisit at some point, because I haven't seen it since it came out, but I loved it at the time. And of course, um, Iron Man Free, which I know some comic book fans are always have their knickers in a twist about that film, but I think it's probably up there as one of the best comic book films ever made. Particularly, it's one of my top I would say my top three uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe films as well, because I thought it was just so brilliantly done. And actually, uh, in the it actually made my top ten of 2013 list. So, um, so just based on those two films alone, I, I pretty much, and of course, you know, Shane Black's uh, work as just a, as a screenwriter, I, I pretty much am looking forward to anything he is attached to, particularly if he's directing. So when it came to his latest film, The Nice Guys, that I was pretty excited. I loved the fact that it's sort of the, even the combination of uh, Russell Crowe and my, and Ryan Gosling together in a film that sort of mixes action and comedy and mystery. It, it, it pretty much and set in the seventies as well. It just seemed right up my alley, and I'm, I have to say right now, this film was not a disappointment at, film, at all. I r loved this film. Uh, one of the things I really like, it, it's a it is so extremely well written. Like uh, Shane Black co-wrote this script with, uh, and I'm probably going to butcher this guy's name, so forgive me. Uh, Anthony Bugazzi. I probably butchered his last name, so forgive me. And their script is fantastic. It's so original and has so many great characters and so many hilarious moments. And the dialogue is just so good. And but the main thing, what really so I love about this film, of course, is the chemistry between Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. They are just they are a perfect match together, like in as an on-screen team. And and but the thing is, Shane Black has always that his pretty much his entire career is basically kind of this sort of buddy kind of comedy type film. I mean, like I said, all the films that I mentioned before pretty much had that sort of buddy dynamic to them, and this one is no different. And like, yeah, it kind of has all the hallmarks that we've seen in his other works before, but it, it's just done so incredibly well. Like, it's it's extremely well directed. The script is great. Um, Ryan Gosling and Russell Crowe, going back to him now, are just so pitch perfect in their roles. Russell is kind of playing more of the straight man of the two, and Ryan Gosling is just... It's just a flat-out comedic genius in this film. He's just absolutely hilarious. But even Russell has some great funny moments as well. And just every scene with them together is just a complete, utter joy. And I love the sort of, sort of the the 70s feel of the film. Not Because it is set in the 70s, but just the attention to detail and what was going on at the time. The costume and production design is really well done. The score is great as well. And... Even the supporting cast are all really solid in the work. But for me, one of the standout ones is young Australian actress and Angori Rice, who I actually... Ha the last film I saw her in was um, a couple... I saw in the film, uh, in the Australian film, These Final Hours, which I actually reviewed when that played at the Melbourne International Film Festival like three years back. And even then, I knew that, based on her performance in that film, that she is going to have quite a big career in front of her. She was just fantastic in that film and she's just as great in this one as well and the fact that she's kind of even though she's playing uh, Ryan Gosling's daughter in this film but it's such a great part and she's and I loved her character and sort of basically this sort of spunky kind of kid, young girl who who's who pretty much doesn't take any crap from anyone and wants to help her dad you know, solve the case that he's doing. And I just thought it was really well done. And her act, like, her, she does really, did a really great job with her, the American accent. And I, I just had a great time with it. It's such an, a really fun and entertaining film that's just, the, a lot of the humour hit for me. And I just had a ball with it. Um, in terms of negatives, like, 
usually with Shane Black scripts, some there's also kind of this sort of unpredictable feel to them. Like you'll chuck in like little twists and turns and all that that um, you don't see coming. Um, I don't feel like I know he was going for that in this film, but unfortunately, some of the twists I found rather predictable and kind of didn't hit me as much as there was. I mean, hit didn't get, leave much of an impact on me as I expected they were originally supposed to, but. But overall, I still really had a great time. And that's kind of like one of the few nitpicks I had about this film. And, and of course, you know, it's... Like I said, it, it does have kind of all the tropes that we have seen from Shane Black in the past. So there's nothing but, you know, the sort of buddy dynamic and a bunch of other little stuff here and there. But there's some... But overall... But that being said, though, it, it's still a really great film that I really enjoyed. And um, I definitely... If you like Shane Black... Definitely check this out. It's worth it for sure. And I, I look forward to seeing it again. Definitely. So other than the little flaws and all that, um, if I had to rate this film, I'd give it a solid four and a half. It is terrific. So yep, that's the end of my video review of The Nice Guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. And I'll see you all later. See you everyone. Bye.